Let us now investigate what the primal and the dual problem have to do with, with each other. And the, the way to do this is to uh, give some, some relations between them um, with various de degrees of um, generality, so the, on the assumption side, and uh, various degrees of strength of the, of the assertion. So uh, uh, obviously the, the more general result will have weaker uh, assertions and the stronger, uh, the stronger assertions will obviously uh, demand uh, more. Okay, so the first result is a very general one and we don't even uh, assume any convexity or stuff like that. So the first result is therefore also called weak uh, duality. Okay, uh, so the theorem is as follows. Um, so let uh, PD be a primal dual pair of optimization problems. via the perturbation function capital Phi uh, mapping from H uh, times G to R bar. Then uh, for all uh, for all uh, x in H and b in G. So these are the uh, the variables which you can insert in our in, in, into our problems. Um, so whenever we insert x uh, into the primal problem, any x, and b into the dual problem, any b, then the the value which we get for the primal objective function will always be above the value we get for the dual objective function. So we have a minimization problem and the value will always be greater than uh, any feasible value for the maximization problem. Okay, so let's write this out. So uh, what we have is then uh, on the bigger side will be the, the minimization problem and the minimization problem was the one with phi x zero and the maximization problem was, was the one with minus phi star of zero b. Okay, so in particular, uh, obviously, um, whenever we take the infimum over the values uh, on the right hand side, and the supremum over the values on the left hand side, then the same relation still holds. So in particular, uh, for the, the optimal values of the respective problems, uh, then we have supremum minus phi star zero b will be less uh, over b and g of course will be less or equal than the infimum over uh, the phi x zero with x in h okay so this is called weak duality and weak duality says that uh, whenever we have a, a feasible value for the primal problem, a feasible value for the dual problem, then we have uh, this uh, relationship. This means, in particular, whenever we find a feasible value for the dual problem, we get uh, a lower bound for the optimal value uh, for our primal problem. So this is, uh, for example, significant whenever you're wondering 
well, how far am I from the optimal value, then at least you can, if you, with some, uh, by, by some means, can compute a feasible value for the dual problem, you can get some estimation for that. Okay, and the proof is extremely simple. Um, so by the, uh, sorry, Young Fenchel, not Fenchel Young, okay, Young Fenchel inequality uh, for all um, x in H, uh, B in G, we have phi of x0 plus phi star 0 b greater or equal than. And here you take the inner product between x0 and 0 b. And this is 0. Okay, and that's the whole proof. So this shows that this inequality holds um, if you move phi star 0 b uh, to the right hand side. All right, um, so this gives us the, the weak duality prop uh, property. And as I said, uh, this weak duality property holds for any function phi, convex or not, low semi-continuous or not. Um, so whenever you can calculate uh, the conjugate function for that, um, then you get this property. And of course, um, there might be some... Uh, some gap between this supremum and this infimum. And dealing with this gap will be then the, uh, the, the part which is obviously then the strong duality. Okay. So um, we have used the young Fenchel inequality and we had a statement that uh, we have um, equality in the young Fenchel inequality sometimes, namely whenever we have the, the relation via the subdifferential. And this is the statement of the next theorem. This, show, uh, this is, um, again, same, uh, same statement here. The following, oh, the same assumptions about phi and, and uh, uh, P and D. So the following um, statements are equivalent, and I write the statements here because uh, it's, it's a bit tight. So the first statement is well. Um, uh, x bar in H is a solution of P, B bar in G is a solution of D, and we have the uh, no uh, so-called duality gap, so the the object the optimal values for the primal problem and the dual problem coincide. So and supremum B and G minus phi star zero B equals in femum x and h phi x zero. Okay, so equality holds here. Um, and the second statement is very simple. It just says zero b bar um, is in the subdifferential of phi at x zero. All right, and 
let's prove this. So, as I said, um, it's basically um, the, the young Fenchel inequality. So, we have since uh, x bar is, so let's go from 1 to 2. So, we have minus phi star of uh, 0 b bar equals supremum um, b in g minus phi star 0 b. This is because b, b bar is a solution of D. Okay, then we have that this supremum is equal with infimum Okay, so this is uh, this statement here. And then we have that this infimum is equal with um, phi x bar 0. This is because x bar is a solution of p. Okay, so now we have this. And therefore, by the statement about the um, conjugate, or on the conjugate function we have, so phi star 0 b bar plus um, phi uh, x bar 0 equals 0 equals uh, the inner product of 0 b bar x bar 0. And therefore, we get by this statement about the, the subdifferential and the conjugate function that 0 b bar is in the subdifferential of phi at x comma 0. Okay. And the second property is basically uh, going going the other way. Um, so going from this, um, so 0 b bar in d phi of x 0 implies that since uh, these statement, um, statements be, uh, with this inclusion in the subdifferential and the property um, <clears throat> that the young fenchel inequality is satisfied with equality, um, this is an equivalence, and therefore we get that phi star 0 b bar plus phi of x bar 0. Oops, I forgot some bars. Yes, I think this should be it. Sorry for that. Um, equals, again, this inner product is 0. And therefore, um, um, for all x in h, we have uh, phi Uh, phi x 0 greater or equal than um, here minus phi star 0 b bar. This is by the property by the previous theorem. Okay, and this is equal to phi x bar 0. Okay, and analogously for all b in h, phi minus phi star of um, 0 b is less or equal than, and now again the previous theorem, uh, less or equal than phi x bar 0, 
and this is equal to minus phi star zero v bar. Okay, and this shows that <clears throat> in fact um, x bar is a solution um, to the primal problem to, to p um, because x bar minimizes this um, um, mapping here and b bar minim analogously minimizes uh, the other objective function. So this concludes the proof and actually if we look a bit closer um, then this is a uh, sufficient optimality condition for uh, for the primal problem. Usually you're, you're interested in your primal problem and the dual problem is more or less a tool to investigate this. So you want to find uh, necessary and sufficient conditions for a point x um, to be the solution of the primal problem p. So what you want is um, given a point x how can I check that this is an optimum? And one way is uh, if you find a solution to the dual problem and you have this relation here, then you know that, um, the, um, that x is, is a, a solution of p. And you also know that um, b is a, sol uh, is a solution to the dual problem and that these uh, function values are the same. Unfortunately, it's not a necessary condition because there are cases where this duality gap is not uh, zero and then this thing, this relation uh, zero b is in the subdifferential of x zero uh, will not be satisfied. Um, but you, you still may have solutions to the primal problem. Uh, so then this problem is sufficient therefore, and not, uh, but uh, it's not necessarily satisfied for all uh, solutions. It's not necessary for x bar to be a solution that there exists a b bar um, a solution of the dual problem such that this holds. Okay, so this is the, the first um, video about uh, the duality between those problems. First we discussed weak duality and then uh, we showed that there is a sufficient um, optimality condition via, for, for the primal problem via the dual problem.